Hello, my name is Adriana Teodoro Dyer and I am an intuitive reader. I have a message today for Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. That would be the water signs. Got a little ahead of myself there. Before we get started, I wanted to invite you to check out my website, True Guidance Tarot. I have some remote readings, tarot readings that I'm offering at a 50% or more discount. I have a lovely wellness reading, a deep reading, a relationship reading. And I just wanted to let you know, because if your heart and soul are crying out for some clarity and guidance and some calm, positive information, I just want to make sure that you have the opportunity to obtain that for yourself. So if that is something that's interesting to you, please check out my website. There will be also a link in the description. So let's get to the reading that's in front of us. We've got the Ten of Wands going into the King of Cups into the Page of Wands, into the Emperor, and then we end in the Knight of Wands. Now this is a really interesting spread because if you notice, every other card is a wand card and it's also moving up in rank, 10, Page, and Knight. So that's going in sequence. So let's start with the story a little bit at a time. So first we've got the Ten of Wands going into the King of Cups. And so not surprisingly, many of you are just emotionally overburdened, worn out, and just ready to stop. You've been holding up so many things and so many people emotionally, because that's, that's the feeling I'm getting from what's going on here. That, you know, it's not just a matter of you're trying to hold yourself up. You're trying to hold everybody else up too. You're trying to be that calm nurturer that, you know, tells everybody it's going to be okay everyone's crying on your shoulder and you're kind of like ah no one's there's no one for me to cry on but you're being that provider right now that emotional provider and um the next cards that come are very interesting because some of that because this is taking so much of your energy it's a little bit weakening your own ability to do things if that makes sense to you so because you're so emotionally exhausted you're having a hard time finding the energy to create and to really put out to express joy and enthusiasm and um, kind of zest for life that you normally have and have no problem tapping into but there's just no one around that can help you bring that up and because you are you're not operating on a hundred percent you're coming up against the emperor energy. Now, this is an energy that's very stifling is the word they're putting in my head. So whether this is an actual person or a situation or just kind of a feeling that's around you, it's this is a very rigid card. It's all about rules and structure that one person puts in place because it suits them. This is not a card that thinks about other people like this guy here, our lovely King of Cups. This is a person that thinks only about themselves and how they're gonna control their world. And so some of you, because you're not coming with your full, positive, good energy, you're turning into this person a little bit because you're so emotionally drained. So your temper's very short, you're not able to be patient with other people, and you're also not willing to be flexible or see other people's points of view, which is normally your strength. Now, the next card here is the Knight of Wands. So <laughs> we've got kind of a double message coming here. So even though this guy is coming in and you're feeling yourself being a little more flex, uh, a little less flexible and more irritable than normal, take the positive uh, end of the, the Emperor and allow this energy to actually create some space for yourself. Okay, so when everybody is coming to you with their problems and crying and upset and, and you're just like, oh my God, I'm so overwhelmed, take some time out, put those boundaries up for yourself and say, you know what, I need some me time right now. It's been really overwhelming. Um, or you know what, that problem is just not something I can tend to right now. Let's put that aside and take some time to just step back from all this stuff. So Although it's not good to be rigid like this card, this card is actually also acting as your advice, saying, yeah, actually look out for yourself right now because you're too exhausted, you've given too much of yourself, and you really need to replenish. And when you do that, you take the time to replenish your energy, you're going to, Knight of, Knight of Wands here, you're going to really feel that burst of energy, you're going to get some movement going forward, and you're going to feel a lot more inspired and that your heart is engaged again. <laughs> 
your poor heart has been completely depleted here. And now you're going to feel that warmth beating again. You're going to feel inspired to do the things you normally love to do. And things are going to start to move very fast for you. When we see knights, we, we often know that means that it's speed. Okay, so it's very interesting that all of the activity, all of the activity has burned up your water. It's evaporated your water, which is your element, the flow, the emotions, the support, the connectivity. So it's evaporated that. And so then you're not able to give enough out of yourself that you usually do. And so this is all about that healing process. And I think for water signs, I know we've seen this flow for you before in these videos. It's just that right now, this message is so, so strong because the times right now are so, so strong. So everybody's patterns are being really exacerbated. So um, I hope that gives you enough to think about and enough to figure out exactly how you need to navigate this next week. Because the truth is that you have all the strength that you need, but this really this severe depletion that you're feeling right now really needs to be addressed because going forward, um, you can't go forward like this. It's, you're, it's just not you. So, um, so please take some time. If you have questions about this, please reach out in the comments below. So um, again, hoping you have a great week. Again, please check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com, all one word, and see if there's anything that piques your curiosity or your fancy. I'll see you next time.